Hey, everybody, Pops here. How are you? All right, so we made it to Westfall on our Hunter. Uh, we are currently level 19. Um, I never thought the day would come. And just so you all know, the, fields are overrun with thieves, and the it's uh, buff for us here now. has dropped gets the wagon fixed, for the 50% uh, uh, increase in experience. Please take it and, south, uh, south you know, over on the farm yonder. The south so, on the fork in the road. not, uh, old I don't know. Such a tired beast I was hoping to uh, be able to do all of this I without the buff, but the uh, yesterday, of course, I didn't feel well, so if you could we actually didn't get anything done yesterday. Fields, I'd be grateful. I bet you could um, find some around all of the farms in Westfall. So, if you can steer clear of those... All right, we need to find oats. We need to find eight bags of oats. southwest of here. There's a bag right here. Horrible. Verna woke me when she heard a ruckus in the fields. Mm -hmm. The fields were full of hooligans. We left in a rush, and I forgot to pack my pocket watch. There we go. PA gave me that watch on our wedding day, and I feel just sick knowing those thieves have it. I left the pocket watch in the wardrobe at the farmhouse. Look for the field of pumpkins to the west. You can't miss it. If you bring it back to me, I'd sure be grateful. Looks to me you've seen quite a bit of combat in your time, adventurer. If you haven't already, you should report to Gryan Stoutman. Mm -hmm. He heads up the people's militia aimed at protecting the... Of course, we're not going to get a lot of XP uh, help. You can usually find over here the from the first few the quests. Anyway, uh, the mobs are... Obviously, we're too high for them. But we are trying to get up to... Uh, Pioneer boots. Are those leather? Those are leather. Those are 38. What are we wearing? 34. All right. Well, we got a little bit of an upgrade there. We'll take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. There's another bag of oats right here. I will probably have to kill that one dude there. Maybe not. I might be high enough that I don't aggro him. Yeah, kind of what I thought, anyway. Uh, <laughs> well, look at that, we got a wand. I saw another bag of oats. It must be over here. There they are. All right, well, obviously that little guy is doing the same quest as me because he took the bag of oats that was here. Ah, uh, here we go. All right. Uh, the killing fields has to kill 20 of these harvest watchers. Uh, this is also a spot where you can uh, empty out your bags. By good farm folk, but the damn thieves have driven them all off. Not me, though. But it seems some harvest watchers have taken over the field. That gets turned in. I'd like you to go out and kill 20 of them. Come back when you're done. my oats. If you finish up with the ones in my field, clear them from the neighboring fields as well. There we go. That Verna was always such a sweet lad. Now I don't know if we're getting more XP. Fall, but between you and me, she's a city girl at heart, and Stormwind will suit her just fine. But enough gossip. Now we can make Westfall stew. The onions For, are uh, these the garlic things is or not. The rosemary is crushed. The crust has been baked. The dill wheat is chopped. The gravy is simmering. Now all I need all is right. famous meat there pie. There we go. We gotta kill food. twenty of these harvest now watchers. Make some Westfall stew. Come back with the following ingredients. I think they're immune to Serpent Sting. They are. And they have no aggro table, by the way. We will pull these really fast. Off the pet. Alright, let's uh, get some more oats. That's even another bag over there. Alright, sweet. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to looting that one in a minute. We're just going to grab these while we can. 
All right, so from these harvest watches, we want to loot okra, hops, and oil. Those are the, those are the items we want off of the uh, harvest watches. We want to get at least uh, five okra. Uh, not five okra, three okra, five hops, and five oil. Now, the oil will turn in at the lighthouse. The hops we turn in up in the Dagger Hills. And the okra we need for uh, Westfall stew. Along with uh, Gortus Snout, Murloc Eyes, and Stringy Vulture Meat. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're still looking for bags of oats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoop. One back here. Okay, that's six. We need two more bags. Oh, that was a hell of a jump up. Uh, we're going to go up here because here we go. We want uh, stringy vulture meat. We need three. That comes off of these uh, vultures here, flesh rippers. Uh, we'll also at some point be taming a level 16 or 17 flesh ripper. It will be how we get uh, Screech for our pet. Nothing there. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll take the crate. So rumor also has it in the uh, phase two, crates are not going to be unique. In other words, you're going to be able to stack those crates uh, in phase two. You're going to be able to get like four or five of them or seven or eight or whatever. Stack them up and then turn them in instead of like right now where, you know, we can't get another one till we turn that one in type deal. But that's uh, that's supposed to go away in phase two, which drops in uh, two days. Uh, they really weren't supposed to put the catch up mechanism in yet. Uh, that was supposed to come uh, on Thursday with the patch, but uh, it, it is in now. You do get the uh, XP buff. Um, I'm not sure if I can go to an inn and have it turned off or not. Um, uh, hey, no stringy vulture meat yet. Yeah, this is definitely one of the problems uh, when you first get here in Westfall is bag space. You know, you got to get at least four items for, uh... hey, thank you for the buff. Uh, at least four items for um, Westfall stew. Then you got to collect gore tusk livers for the gore tusk liver pie. Then you've got to collect uh, bags of oats. And then on top of that, um, we've got to get full bros watch, which we're going to uh, probably do now. We're heading that way. I think we've got almost all our oats. But yeah, bag space... Uh, and especially for a hunter, because remember, I lose a bag space. So it's definitely at a premium for me. There should be a level 15 in there also. There he is. Benny Blanco. 
is old Benny. Are those leather? 35. I think I'm already wearing 35 gloves. All right. Uh, again, another thing we got to make a space for is getting this pocket watch. Well, I think we're after that. We just need uh, how many more oats do we need? We have one more bag of oats. There happens to be a bag over here. All right, now we have all our oats. Mm hmm. Seven or twenty of these harvest watchers. They're at least giving up uh, giving us XP, these harvest watchers. Alright, we can two or three of those. Oh, I saw a buzzard over here. Somebody pull it? Oh no, there it is. <sighs> There's some stringy vulture meat. Now we're talking. There's one of those. All right, we're moving along here. It's going to be a while before these uh, mobs give us any XP, but we're going to do the quest anyway. Well, we got at least three okra anyway, I think. Yep, we've gotten three okra. Uh, let's see, we got four hops, two oil. All right. Remember, we want five oil and five hops. So we can turn them in in future quests. Okay. Now we got all our Gorta snouts. We just got to get stringy vulture meat and, of course, murloc eyes. I'm going to kill the rest of these uh, harvest watches we need. At least they're giving us some XP. There's oil. Oop, there's another vulture. All right, we, you know, I don't really care if it pulls with the Harvest Watcher. We're fine. That was a cloth. Well, at least these ones are giving some XP. Okay, we got two out of three now of our stringy vulture meat. We got 15 out of 20 of our harvest watches. Some more hops, some more oil. Right, we're good. We got our oil. We got our hops. Uh, we got to kill four more of these things. Mm -hmm. Oh, pet's hungry.
All right, where you at, pet? There you are. There you go. There's some grub for you. 18. We need two more. Nineteen. One more. This is the last one we need. Whoa, hey. Come to see me, did you? Okay, well, that's fine. You're dead. Uh, let's see. We have all our gore tusk snouts, uh, but we still need uh, six more gore tusk livers. Which that was not one. Oh damn! Somebody got one of those swords from the. Well, now they get a pumpkin to pop. Oh, uh, let's. See. Yep, we still need a stringy vulture meat. Let's go turn in our harvest watchers. We can empty our bags. We'll go over. We'll see uh, the full bros turn in uh, what we have for them. Leave that bird alone. I need it. Well, it's worth a try. <laughs> uh, we'll cross the street here. There's some birds across the street here. We can uh, take out some gortos on the way down to see the full bros. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. Friend, you have earned your pay well. Who knows? We take those. We Remember, we can't wear. Uh -huh. Of course, the inventory is full. The inventory is always full. All right, we can't sell, can't sell. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. We can get rid of that. There's not a lot we can get rid of here. We don't need any light feathers. We don't need those. We don't need that. I think about everything else we've got to hold on to. Careful. Mm -hmm. Good work, friend. You have earned your pay well. Oh. Who knows? Perhaps Westfall will prosper once again. There we go. All right, we can sell that. There we go. Nice. For the alliance. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we should hit some Gortus over here. Possibly even some vultures. That's kind of the idea. Get some gore tusks, some vultures. See if we can't get our last uh, stringy vulture meat. Some more uh, gore tusk livers would be nice. Actually, does that boar meat help our cooking? Yeah, it does slightly. 
All right, we'll take the boar meat. <laughs> there we go. All right, we got all our stringy vulture meat. So we just need three Murloc guys, and we'll have that done. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're going to turn in poor old Blanche, and we're going to turn in uh, Farmer Fulbro's pocket watch. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Hey there. Thank you so much, adventurer. Poor old Blanche will be so happy. This inventory shit being full has got to stop. Thank you so much, adventurer. Poor old Blanche will be so happy. Uh, yep, we got to clear another spot here. Hello. My watch. Thank you so much, kind sir. You're welcome. We are poor farmers and we have lost our land, but please accept this reward. All right, uh, we're going to get down the coast here and see if we can find some murlocs up. We don't need any of this stuff anymore. I do see a gore tusk. Uh, foolish coyote that wants to die. Now we can cook with that coyote meat. Uh, we'd have to get rid of something. I'm pretty sure we've got the... Uh, we get the recipe for that? No, not yet, but we can from a cooking trainer. All right. Well, we might not need to. We'll probably get to 80 without needing it. Oh, look at that. There's actually one I can loot. Well, of course, I could skin it, but there's no room for uh, anything in the inventory. We got to get some eight slot bags to drop here. Remember, we can't use the auction hall, we can't trade. Uh, we can't group, so, you know, we're, we're at a definitely distinct advantage here. Well, well, the Murlocs are, well, yeah, I guess I think we're probably kind of early. So, we just need three Murloc guys. We don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. And judging by the looks of it, we'll probably have to make a spot for those in our bag when we get to them. Mm -hmm. If we get any. Mm -hmm. Be nice to get a Murloc guy. many have we killed? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight or nine and still no Murloc guy. Man, you gotta be kidding me. 
what's that like 11 or 12 we killed Now that starts a quest for an 8-slot bag. I think I will grab that Captain Sandine's map. That actually starts a quest for an 8-slot bag. However, uh, well, you get a bag, a belt, and some other stuff, but... Right now, at this point, I'd just settle for getting Murloc eyes. Maybe we're on too early so it doesn't put the quest items on. I don't know. Hey, there's one. All right, we can get rid of this bread. We're not going to need it. There we go. There's one. Oh, we're going to probably get two here. I would expect we get at least two. There's one. All right, that's it. We got our three Murloc guys. Uh, we're looking now for six Gore Tusk livers. We're going to go turn this in. What is this? Oh, yeah, I got that. I got to clear a spot before I can open that up. Uh, that's not a bad uh, little quest. Uh, you're going to fight some murlocs, which we aren't going to have any problems with up the coast here, the murloc hunters and stuff. Open up a foot lock, or it's going to send you over to a barrel. Uh, from the barrel, you're going to go to a windmill. From a windmill, you're going to swim out to an island. And on that island, you're just going to open up a chest. There's, uh, the only mobs you're even going to kill doing this quest are just getting to the footlocker. And the pain of the, the ass of those is some of those are hunters. Uh, I don't know why I'm skinning. I got no room. Well, we must have room for light leather anyway. Um, and those hunters um, have pets, but... They're like level 16, and at this level, we're gonna we're not gonna have any issue with them. All right, a couple more gold tusk livers. I like it. Give me all them livers. I don't know if I got room for any of this. All right. Uh, well, we don't have to carry around boar intestines, so we'll get that. Hmm. Hey, somebody dinged. Congrats. Mr. Paladin, you hit 14. Totally awesome. The only thing we're all hoping for off of these coyotes is coyote meat. Well, we can skin that one. There we go. Oh, God. All right. Ah. Uh, so we're going to go turn in our Westfall stew. We'll make our way over to Sentinel Hill. Uh, where we'll pick up the quest for uh, lots of stuff. Um, Noel paws. Uh, linen bandanas, smugglers, trappers. Talk to uh, Wiley over in Lakeshire. That's over there. Um, which, of course, leads us on the quest line for dead mines. Uh, you, you have to remember, though, now, for me to run Dead Mines on this tune, I have to run it with other players that are doing hardcore. Cannot run Dead Mines with just any group. Mm -hmm. Though I do need to run it again tonight on my priest. And uh, hopefully we'll be... Uh, oh, no, we're going to turn that in now. Okay, that can go. That can go. Nope. Uh, yep. I think that's about all we can freaking get rid of. Okay. Westfall stew, continue, complete. There we go. Folks, we are never going to make Westfall stew. 
few Murloc so we will sell the recipe. We do not We're need gore tusk snouts anymore. We do not need okra anymore. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need that knife. We don't need those mitts. Remember, they're quest rewards. We can't use them anyways. Um, there, now we can open up this one. Yeah, now we can get that. All right. Hopefully some of this stuff we're going to cook here when we get over to Sentinel Hill. Okay, we don't need any more of these things. Uh, there's Sentinel Hill right there where the tower is. Zingo, zongo, bingo, bongo. That's the way we're headed. That's the way we're headed. <laughs> I don't need any of those anymore. Uh, I will, like I said, I will be taking a level 16 one um, shortly uh, so I can teach my owl screech. I have to put them in uh, the uh, stableum to go do that. There we go. Oops, well, we can skin it. We are still looking for coyote livers. We've got four. We need four more. Boar meat? Yeah, we got nine of those already. So boar ribs at 80 you can cook. Make dry pork ribs or whatever you want to call it. Boost your cooking up. You want to get to at least a, oh, 100 or so, a little bit <coughs> higher than 100 before you go into Duskwood. Because uh, the cooking quest over there to cook the uh, lean wolf flank requires 100. Okay, report uh, so to Grain Stout Mantle, done. The kind. People's Militia, well, accept. The Defiers Brotherhood, accept. Accept that. We're going to go down here, pick up Red Linen Bandanas, and I'm going to run over and cook. The People's Militia has but <clears> one goal. To defend the land uh, there's boar meat that I've got. See if that gets us up to 80. It's going to be a tough stretch. Uh, we've got 15 of them, and we need five points, so that's a, that's a tough stretch, but at least we can open up some bag slottage. Uh, there we go. That is to collect red linen bandanas. Go over here. We'll pick up the flight path. Beep, 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 beep. There we go. Driving the good people of Westfall from the land call themselves the Defias Brotherhood. I need you to infiltrate this clan. Uh, dun, dun, we need to know who is the cartel right, let's cook and up where this they are hiding out. Meat. In Lakeshire, in the let's end, see how, how high this gets us to. Wiley, who owes me a favor. Travel to Lakeshire in the Red Ridge Mountains, east of Elwind, and find out what you can. Stormwind has a band <sighs> so far, nowhere. Of wind of depravity rustles through the plains of All right, come on. This there we go. Well, at least we got a point. I will not turn my back on the citizens Two points. Who remain here. We, the former farmers, shall hmm. make our stand. Your task, should you choose to... There we go. We got three. We're up to 78. Westfall. Up to 79. The question is, can we get one more point, more point with five more of these to go? There it is. There's 80. There's 80. Beautiful. Now we can learn that crocosilic recipe. We can cook up the crocosilic meat. Get rid of some of this other stuff that's in our bags. All right, uh, let's see. Where is that recipe? There it is. Mild spices. All right, so we're, we're only going to make five. Uh, this is where we get our mild spices. Uh, all right, we can get rid of that. Uh, we really don't need that meat. We just kind of cooked it up. We'll hold on to that. Uh, here's our bow here. we got to get some arrows. Thank you. And repair. Thank you. Uh, here we go. All right. So we should be able to cook up five of these crocosilic steaks. We actually have six crocosilic meat, but um, I don't want to buy the extra mild spices and run around with them. We'll just... We'll just sell the other crocosilic meat. We're actually going to keep this, get rid of those clams. Because the pet will eat that. The pet won't eat the clams. Okay. 
Uh, you can get rid of that. You can get rid of that. You can get rid of that. All right, there we go. We've made a little bit more bag space. Not a lot, but a little bit. All righty. Uh, dun, 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 dun. All right, so should I stable my pet and go teach it bite? I, I mean, screech. I probably should. Um, the stable mast is here, and the uh, flesh rippers I need are right down the road from here. Hey, uh, stable. Oh, I guess we got to purchase a slot. Five silver. The next one's five gold. Oh, you talk about kind of sticking it to you. All right, so we're going to get out here. There'll be a, usually up over here somewhere. There's some of the higher flesh rippers. Uh, we'll tame one of them. We'll use it till it teaches us screech. Then we'll just abandon it. <laughs> then go back and pick up our other pet. What level is this bad boy? There you go, 17. We can tame that one. Just got to get within range of the taming rod. There we are, just within range. No closer. Now you can concussive shot this and then tame it. You know, it'll slow down on its way over to you. Not a bad idea. But we should be okay. I think we're going to get it. Ah, damn, we just got it. 24 health. And remember, you know, if we die, we die. This is, this is uh, hardcore. <laughs> this isn't we can die while we're taming that and then come back. I didn't even kind of pay much attention to my health. I didn't think I was in any danger, but that's all right. We got it. So, yeah, here's Screech. Blasts a single melee of 79 damage and lowers the melee attack power of all enemies in melee range. All right. So we're, uh, we're going to send it in to do battle. And it, there we go. We learned Screech already. So now we can get rid of this pet and go back and get our owl. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're going to put it on stay. And I usually walk away from it a little bit before I abandon it. Usually it likes to come after you sometimes. That's why I kind of let it go back there. And you can see now we have, uh, we have Screech, rank one, that we can teach our pet. And that's how you do pet training. You look it up, you see what your pet can learn. Like my next skill I can learn is dive, but the pet's got to be up around 30. Oh, there you go. You put it there. He's back with me. Um, and then you go out and you stable your pet. You tame the beast or the creature or the owl or whatever that can teach you the skill you want. Use it in combat till you get told uh, that you've learned that ability. And then abandon the pet and then go get your pet. Oh, and then train it. Bring up your training. Treach, screech. It's going to cost me 10 training points. No problem. So now my owl knows screech. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, we're still looking for... Uh, Gore tusk livers. All right, we need 15 of these smugglers, 15 of these trappers. And then on top of that, we can also use coyote meat still. That will, that will cook. Uh, 15 bandanas we need. along with more uh, livers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, the bad part is we're really 
not getting any XP from this stuff. We, uh, we, you know, we're just too high. All right, smugglers won't come to you. Trappers will. Trappers will also net you. Smugglers won't. There's a, there's a bandana. That's what we need. Fifteen of those. Uh, we're probably going to get all three here as soon as that owl screeches. Uh, don't really matter. All right, go on that one. Oh, oh, my pet's netted. There he comes. There we go. Milk, it does my body good. Hey. So this is a good little spot, normally. I don't know if, uh, you know, how well they'll respawn with only one of us killing here. But when there's a couple of us killing, this is a pretty good little spot to kill these. Huh. 14 Paladin. Oh, she wants the node. Oh, good thing I wasn't a miner, huh? Mm-hmm. Haven't gotten very many bandanas. We've only gotten one. Uh, this will be number six on the smugglers. Well, well, we got a bandana. that trapper mm -hmm. all right we got another bandana it's a shame we're so high because we're just not going to get any XP for killing these mobs but we will get it for the quest my god and they do come back quick good because I can see I've got another competitor coming in I see a warlock the trappers are the ones you got to get first they're the ones that are the hardest oh, well maybe the warlock's all done he was here oh hey There's a bandana, and the pet's hungry. Let's give him some crocosilic steak. Steak, nothing but the best for my pet. Steak. Pow, pow, all right. Yes, I don't know what got a hold of me yesterday, but Jesus. Yesterday afternoon, I, I just, I don't know, I just really wasn't feeling well. Um, last night I was in bed at, uh, 630. Now I didn't sleep solidly through the night, but I didn't get back up. I did read for about an hour. Um, but yeah. Oh, look, there's another bandana. Hey! Asshole. Well, you pull them, you deal with them. I was doing pretty good. I was all, oh, now this guy just wants to piss me off. Now he just wants to be greedy. Thinking he should have everything that's here. Now, I don't mind sharing, but when you start pulling four because you think you want to be greedy, and I could pull four, but I'm not because I'm trying to be thoughtful of my fellow players. 
All right, uh, let's get up some mana. What do we got? We got 10 trappers, 14 smugglers, 10 bandanas. We need five more bandanas. We need some more trappers. All right, this guy's just getting to be greedy now. Well, if she dies, she dies, and I certainly will hold no remorse on her. There we go. Mm-hmm. Hey, there's 11 trappers. Oh, damn, where'd all these people come from? I was over here by myself, doing well. Damn, she is greedy, that's for sure. Alright, uh, I think that's all the smugglers we need. We need four trappers. Usually the trappers spawn here, so. I mean, we just need to hit them with an arrow quick. Hi, right, you can have all the smugglers you want. Oh, look at that. We got netted. There we go. Okay, we need two more trappers. Of course, we still need bandanas. That's a problem. We haven't gotten enough bandanas yet. One more trapper. So all we need is a trap. Oh, it looks like that warlock went up top there for a while. Probably got tired of me pulling fast. Mm-hmm. All right, go get that trapper. I'm going to shoot that smuggler. I can probably put him down before he even comes up near me. There we go. Unfortunately, I didn't get a shot in on that trapper, so I got nothing as far as credit for the kill. All right, go. All smugglers. What's up with that? I gotta at least get a shot in her. I'm not gonna get any credit for those kills. And then I can't loot. Alright, there we go. That's at least if I need a trapper, that's the last one I need. Oh yeah, we did have one around the back here, didn't we? Uh we still need bandanas. We need three more bandanas. But we shouldn't need any more trappers. We need, oh, just one more bandana. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should be some popping up around this campfire here soon, I would imagine. Oh, there we go. Go. Maybe we get lucky and this one will have the bandana and we'll be done. There we go. All yours, young lady. Nice. That's still not going to be enough to get us to 20, but... At least we'll move on to pillage. Oh, we got to go to uh, Stormwind before we do Pillages and Lutus because we got to get the Compass Quest. All right, so we're gonna we gotta fly there anyway, and then we gotta walk down to Lakeshire and talk to Wiley. Oh boy, yeah, cause we gotta get to Lakeshire. We didn't talk to Wiley yet. I wish I could say that these three quests were enough to make me twenty, and I'd uh, be able to pick up my level twenty skills while I was there. But uh, maybe if we got all the Gore Tusk livers, uh, we might get to 20. I don't know. Tough call. All 
And I mean, you still need three more gore tusk livers, and that's a lot. Yeah, I don't see it. One, two, three. Now, we got over four bars we still need. Even turning in those quests wouldn't give it to us anyway. All right. Well, let's go turn these in. Uh, we will fly to Stormwind, I guess. I think we're a little too young to make the run. Well, no, we might be able to make the run up through Darkshire. Right to Lakeshire and save us some time. Yeah, we're 19. Well, almost 20, and we've done those quests down there at 19 before, well done, so. Adventurer. My scout witnessed your valiant acts. You All right, there's pillages and looters. A band of vicious defiance mm -hmm. villagers <laughs> has been seen plundering the Gold Coast Quarry, Moonbrook, and the Alexton Farmstead. The people's militia will not stand for such behavior. Dispatch immediately, adventurer. And uh, make the what is our first aid? Do we even need to make more heavy shore, woolen bandages? The of the tower. As the next yeah. step of your training, I want you to kill 15 of it those will give us thing, plus they sell a lot better. All right, uh, continue. Nice work, What's that worth? Two, two, three. For all your hard Remember, work. we can't use anything we get there anyway. All right, we're going to make up these bandages. We'll sell those. Hey. Oh, is there no space in my inventory? That's what it is. There's no space in the inventory to make them. <laughs> when we see the first aid trainer, we're going to learn wool bandages, but you know what? We can, uh, we can do these for now. Oh, yeah, we can turn in that crate, too, while we're in Stormwind. Okay, got to save all of that stuff there. <gasps> we can pick up the uh, recipe for the uh, boar ribs, too, while we're over there. Safe all right, we're going to create all these. While that's going on, I'm going to take a bio break, and I shall be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, let's see. Let's sell those. Okay, hold on to that. Over here, we get some more arrows. Repair. What do we got for gold? Three. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll hold on to that for now. Anyway, um, we'll probably find some more gore tusks on the way. Like this one. Pets hungry. Oh, uh, where they at? There they go. The greater Gorta snouts you can also save for a uh, quest over there in Lakeshire. Uh oh. Okay. It turned. I thought we might have ended up pulling that vulture.
All right, so we're going to go down this road here, cross the bridge. We're going to run up through Duskwood. It, it's a bit of a risk, believe me. There's uh, some things alongside that road that are level 24, 25, that can come out after us. But, uh, you know, it's better than running all the way up to Goldshire and then down. It's a little bit quicker. Uh, we'll also be able to gra grab the flight path to, to Darkshire going that way, which isn't a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Well, we still only have five livers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hope we uh, get some more livers out of these Gortus on the way over. I do imagine now if we got all the Gortus livers, we could probably ding 20 right here. Well, that's all right. We'll probably ding 20 anyway when we get to Lakeshire. And it's okay because when we're done in Lakeshire, we get sent on a quest to go to Stormwind where we'll be able to uh, pick up the other quest we want. And, uh, oh, look, there's a liver. And, uh, Train our level 20 hunter skills. Get another growl for the pet. All right. God, we should be taking some of these medicational pills that we need to take. <coughs> I take so many pills. A lot of them are vitamins, though. So. When I was younger, I could take eight, nine pills, toss them in my mouth, swallow them down. Now I choke on two. Bump, 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 bump. What level's that? 25 undead priests behind me? Hmm. Must have been doing uh, dead mines, maybe? All right, so there are things along here that uh, can pop out and kill us right around here. Everything's 19 or so, so it's not bad. Uh, we have to watch out for my friend Stitches. Usually coming this way, you just have to watch out that you don't uh, run up on Stitches. He is very slow moving, so... Usually if he's behind you, unless he spawns like right now, he comes out to the road, he spawns about here. And by the way, he's not even aggressive till he gets out to the road. So if you're ever in there and you see him coming, uh, he, he doesn't get aggressive till he gets to the road. Um, so the only danger here would be, of course, if he spawns, we're going to have to get, you know, far enough away that we're out of his aggro range because he moves like a son of a bitch when he's got you aggroed. Other than that, he moves like molasses. Um, so again, you know, if he's behind me, I'm good. And now we should be okay. Now we've just got to watch out for the uh, ravages up in the woods. Uh, there's also some, uh, black widow spiders up here that are like level 25. Uh, remember this is hardcore. If I die, I have to delete this too and it's over. And you can see right there is, uh, one of the 25s. Uh, so we hope to avoid that. And remember, we're 19, so we got a pretty good aggro range for these things. And we hope to come over here. Whoops, there's one right up there, another spider. Don't believe that bullshit, you're safe on the road either. There's a ravager, you can see how close he gets to the road. He's 24. You can see he gets right to the road. We're going to stop let him go back in the woods. Runs over there to get a squirrel or something. Okay. Now we're going to grab this quest up here. Uh, this is to kill pygmy venom spiders. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Corporal Rogueman. But we're going to grab it. Hail, adventurer. Perhaps because when we come to Duskwood to quest, having that quest is going to allow us to fly to Centennial Hill and stuff rather than walking down, walking back all the time. All right, so again, we got that Ravager right there. He's coming. Uh, we're probably going to have to put the pet on him. Hopefully that's enough. We'll, we'll call our pet back when we get up here a little bit further. We're out of range. All right, come on back, pet. That should probably do. I, I, usually from here on out, it's pretty smooth. The only thing you got to worry about now is, like I said, stitches. There's stitches in front of me. All right, well, the pet's gone, but there we go. Pet's back. There we go, and we're not being pursued anymore. You see, this part of the journey is pretty safe, other than stitches. Usually nothing comes up from these sides at you, usually. God only knows. It could be a first. <laughs> Jeez, there's no ruins here either. But that would make sense. Again, this isn't a zone uh, where, where you think that uh, there'd be hunter ruins because there's no humans. Uh, yeah, there's no human hunters. Now, I imagine wetlands will have some ruins because that's where dwarfs progress. Lock Modan down to wetlands. Uh, Ashenvale will probably have some ruins because the night elf hunters come out of uh, the dark shore there, and they go in Ashenvale. So. Uh, we've done all right. I think we've gotten eight ruins so far. Seven. Seven out of 18. Oh, look at that. The ruins have updated from 12 to 18, folks. Yeah, the ruins updated from 12 to 18. Something for you all to notice. So they have dropped the patch. Um, I don't think they're allowing us to go 25 up yet. I haven't logged on to 25 to see. Um, would be interesting if they did, because then they would have dropped that two days early. Um, but yeah, now you can see there's 18 ruins. So there's six more ruins to pick up, uh, in phase two. Uh, belt and, uh, I think, I think belt and boots. Okay, we grab the flight path there. We're not picking up any quests here or anything. We were just grabbing the flight path. February 13th, I have an appointment at the VA at 8 o'clock in the morning. I think that's physical therapy. Pretty sure that's my physical therapy appointment. Which I think at this point, I'm just going to tell them, look, I'll, I'll have to learn to live with the pain. They've, they've done absolutely nothing to make the shoulder feel better. Uh, doing their exercises hasn't helped. Um, I could ask for an MRI at this point. Um, maybe see if there is... I think something's ripped or torn. but And they have already admitted to me that, yeah, there's some separation up there. So, bum, 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 bum. We will probably have to kill this. Otherwise, it's just going to come and say hello to us. But the good news is it's only level 20. That's uh, that's going to be a quest item in the future. There's also a vendor up here that I always stop at. Sometimes he has healing pots and mana pots for sale. Uh, other other weird stuff. All right, so this spider here, that's uh, that's a pygmy venom. 
We need 15 of those, but we're not actually on that quest. We're not going to start doing that quest here. We'll do it when we come here. Ah, uh, here we are. The rear goods vendor. You don't have anything we need here. We've got uh, coalesced regret. Elixir of coalesced regret. Allows the buyer to speak with the corpse of an individual with unfinished business in the mortal, mortal world. And he has uh, goblin jumper cables, which, well... Well, if you're doing engineering, I guess you could use them. Because it's not hardcore. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit, we should kill a pygmy spider. We'll probably make 20. All right. Well, we should probably see one more along here somewhere. There we are. Well, we got a wolf. All right, let's kill him. That way they will make, well, we'll make 20 when we talk to Wiley anyway, regardless. There we go, level 20. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, hey, there's one of those pygmy venom spiders. pick up God Parker's report, deliver it. We won't pick up the follow-up there either. I think you can get gore tusk livers from these. Yeah, you can, because I remember coming over here and getting some. We're going to certainly be able to boost our cooking up with these boar ribs. I don't know how many I got. Uh, well, we got 10. Yeah, we got 14. Very nice. Uh, we don't need these spiders, but if they get in our way, we'll kill them. Mm-hmm. All right, so God Park is up here on the road. He's going to give us a report to bring to Deputy Felden, I think. <laughs> we'll just pick it up and do it now. Hail, adventurer. I am charged to patrol this stretch of road. Although the road is safe for now, I've seen knoll encampments to the north and east of here. Oh, yeah, Lakeshire we'll bring that one back. Knoll force. Report to Deputy Felden in Lakeshire and tell him of the Knolls. Do this, and I'm sure Felden will offer you a scout's wage. Yeah, he will. Felden's two car, uh, two silver. Area south of the bridge to Lakeshire. Oh, still didn't get no uh, delicious uh, gore tusk liver. What do we got now? We got six of eight. We need two more of those. Well, if we see some gore tusk, we'll hit them up. Is my buddy Antonio. Hey there. Just traveling along. I think that's all I can give you, Antonio. Sorry, I haven't got anything else. Ah, uh, what's it going to cost us now? We got a train at level 20. One gold, one and a half gold, a little bit more than that. But we're going to get a new arcane shot. We get aspect of the cheater now. Disengage, distracting shot. We get dual wheel. We get a freezing trap. We get a new men pet. So we get all kinds of nice things. There's a couple of gore tusks over here. Let's see if we can get lucky here and get a liver or two. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I don't want to go too close to that edge. That's uh, where you get those little, these do flitchies pop up. Hey, thank you. Ah, there's a liver. See if we can get one more. Now we got all our gore tusk livers. How many snouts have we got? Three out of five. Not bad. We'll be able to turn in our gore tusk liver pie quest. All right, this is the report we're going to turn in. We're not going to pick up the secondary quest. We are going to grab this flight path. We're going to go talk to Wiley. We're going to train up on boar ribs. There are red ridge knolls that close to Elwyn. There we go. They may be poised to advance into our homeland. Soon there we go. May not be the only humans under and we're not picking up any quests here either. You bring us dire news, and it comes at a bad time, for we are ill-equipped to deal with it. We don't have men to spare, but something must be done about those knolls you reported to me. Scout Southern Red Ridge for knolls. Harry them, kill those you can, and report back to me with a count of their numbers and an assessment of the threat they present. You may find those knolls camped all along the southern road of Red Ridge. Hmm. Do this for the Stormwind Army, adventurer, and you will be rewarded. Oh, good. We got another boar ribs. Now we've got an even number of boar ribs <coughs> by fives. Anyway, we got 15 because you have to buy the mild spices to cook with them. Uh, this is the cooking trainer here. Bump, 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 bump. We're going to nice learn to cook the, the coyote meat, and we're going to cook the uh, dry pork ribs. That's it. That's all we're going to learn there. Now we're going to go talk to Wiley. He's up in the inn. Uh, dry pork ribs. Yeah, we need mild spices. All right, we'll grab those because we're going to cook all that shit up. Then we'll have plenty of food for our pet. Okay, Wiley's up here. Here we go. Hello, so Wiley. Sent you. Complete well, quest. I Except what I am about to tell you could cost me my life. The oh shit! We didn't hearth. We didn't set our hearth. And Last I heard, they were over there at uh, with various knolls, Sentinel Hill. Well, we'll have to Donald do that when we get back over there. Take this note to Stoutmantle. It explains as much as I know on the subject. <laughs> good day to you. Have a good one. Have a good one. <sighs> How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Uh, let's see here. We have to put some stuff in the bank. We just got too much crap. Well, hopefully some of it will be getting rid of soon. All right, uh, coyote steaks. Let's make three of those. All right, we can make 15 of these. Well, let's put those right up there. What is this stuff? Fine sand. I don't know what the hell that was doing up there. But we can probably get rid of... Oh, well, we'll keep that there for now. I was going to say we can get rid of this too. Because we're going to have these two foods. We don't need to worry about that. We'll keep the lean wolf flank up there. We can put the gore snouts and the leather all in the bank. So we're ready to work on that. 
All right, so we got our cooking over 100, which is awesome, because we need it to be over 100 when we get to Duskwood. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Back to see uh, Gray and Stout Mantle, who's then going to send us to Iron Four, or uh, not Iron Four, Stormwind. When we get to Stormwind, we'll uh, turn in our crate. We'll put some stuff in the bank. Uh, we'll go talk to Matthias Shaw. We'll pick up the quest for the compass. When we get back, we'll be able to do the messenger, no pause, pillages, looters. Oi. Where would you like to fly to? Uh, Stormwind. No, Sentinel Hill. There we go. That's where we're heading, Sentinel Hill. Oh, yeah, we have to remember to set our hearth while we're back, when we get back there. Okay. We rocking and rolling now. Well, everybody should be pumped for Phase 2. Supposedly drops Thursday. I'm guessing it's dropping about 3 in the afternoon, but I, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't drop it early, although they did give us some hints because we can see now 18 ruins. So, And there have been a couple of YouTube videos out where there were some discussions with the developers. Um... Uh, we may watch one of those in tonight's stream. Uh, tonight, don't forget, I will be streaming my priest. Uh, regular priest, it won't be hardcore. Um, in Sod, he is level 20. Uh, we will try to get him in the dead mines. Hopefully, AFR is ready to go. I do believe she will be uh, to do dead mines. Uh, so we'll get that done. And... Uh, Get some other stuff taken care of. Uh, okay, so we got to... Wait, 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 wait. I want to go over here and make my hearth. All right, we're going to go see uh, Grand Stout Mill. Then we're going to run over to uh, Saul Dean's farm there. Just turn in our gore tusk liver pie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep working, boys. It's looking good. <coughs> Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. Make this in your home, except... Thank you. All right. Uh, also hoping to get another dead mines run in tonight like i said on the priest uh for those who don't uh today is tuesday by the way uh february where are we at february 6th already holy crap we're already six days into february jesus all right, there we go. The Defias Brotherhood. Talk to Wiley. Complete quest. Except rot when I had the chance, but this information right. is crucial. We are going to run over I real quick Wiley here. He mentioned the stonemason. Perhaps that was a slip of tongue. Could the Defias hmm. gang be related to the stonemasons? The Only Defias are the stonemasons. So if you don't know the lore of Westfall and Elwyn Forest. Let me throw it out to you real quick. Basically, the uh, king is at war with the orcs. The first great war has come. Uh, the orcs attack Stormwind. They destroy Stormwind. The stonemasons were hired uh, by the king and the nobles to repair Stormwind, rebuild it, whatnot. Uh, they did an awesome job uh, repairing it. And when it came time to get paid, they did not get paid. The nobles tried to screw them out of their pay. Uh, I can't say the king, because the king, like I said, he is off fighting the Second Great War. Thank you. Um, which is why, of course, there's not very many people 
uh, as far as people to patrol the roads as, or defend uh, Elwyn or defend any of these towns because the king has taken the people and gone to fight the second great war with the orcs. All right, so having the been uh, ripped off so much. by the people of Stormwind, and here is a little the, uh, you for the hard stonemasons you didn't think I was going to became the... Um, go hungry, did you? The Defias. They became the Defias. That's who the Defias are. They're the stonemasons who were not paid by the king as promised and the nobles. Now, like I said, I don't believe the king had anything to do with it because the king is, he's off fighting orcs. Uh, anyway, with, with the half the army or three quarters of the army, the Stormwind army gone, you, now you've got the no, the uh, the the population of the wolves uh, overflowing um, over in Elwyn Forest. That's why you've got to kill wolves and prowlers um, and bears because the, the 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 number of patrollers is down, so that the roads uh, and the towns have become overrun by the wildlife. The uh, Defias, i.e., the stonemasons, have hired the kobolds to work the mines. They have taken over the mines. They've scared away the honest people in the mines and there's not enough people to go reclaim the mines. As I said, the king's got everybody with him. Uh, so their kobolds are working the mines. They're being paid by the Defias Brotherhood. You also have, as you know, over in Elwyn Forest, you have the collector. That's the guy who runs around and collects the the shipments, you know, he, he schedules the shipments, he collects them, okay? Now he, um, the rest of the Defias, some of the Defias has tried to uh, take over Elwyn Forest. They're not doing so well, that's why you don't have a lot of Defias camps over there like you do over here, okay? When they fled, they fled to Westfall and they took Westfall over first. Uh, they took Westfall over, the Defias took Westfall over because it had a lot of farms that provided food to the people of Stormwind, and they ran the farmers off. They rewired all the uh, harvest watchers, harvest golems, um, and that's why they are aggressive to us. And then uh, they went off into the dead mines, and that's where their hideout is, where they employed goblins to build them a ship. The idea is the ship will be built. They're going to take all this money uh, that they've gotten out of the mines that they've taken over, the Jengalode mine, the Jaspalode mine, the Fargo Deep mine, um, you know, all these mines. And, you know, they have it all being collected. And they we're going to put all this into the ship, and then they're going to sail away to wherever and start their own life as rich people. Where are you going? Well, if you're looking to get there quickly. That's kind of the law. That's why you have so much Defias here in Westfall. That's why you have uh, a little bit of Defias over there in Elwyn. They're trying to set up camp. They're just not being very successful. Uh, but again, they took over Westfall first. Now, Saldin refused to leave. The full bros were on their way out. You know, that's the one we got the uh, pocket watch and stuff. We're going to go see Boris Alexson. Uh He's got a compass over at his farm that he abandoned or his father abandoned that he wants us to get for him. It's got sentimental value. Now, Boris Alexton was actually one of the stone masons. All right. However, he was given a promotion by the nobles, and he took the promotion uh, rather than run with them and become part of the Defias gang. So you could say Boris Alexton kind of uh, turned his back on his fellow guild, guild members there, the stone masons. Van Cleef uh, is the head of the uh, Stone Masons, and he's also the head of the Defias. Hence, our job is to go kill him because he's threatening Stormwind. It's too bad because uh, really Van Cleef did nothing wrong. He simply wanted to be paid for his work, uh, and they refused. Now, they did offer Van Cleef a promotion, just like they gave to uh, Alex Borston. However, Van Cleef refused it. He would not sell out his fellow uh, stonemasons. 
his fellow guildies. So, you know, anyway, that's the law. That's why we're over in Westfall killing the fires. Uh, that's why we are um, eventually going to go to the dead mines. Uh, that's why eventually we're going to uh, kill Van Cleef and bring his head. Mm-hmm. Gee, I wonder if they upped the amount of, uh, what is this? Safe I have a crate. Delivered to a supply officer for a reward. Hey We've had trouble with shipments going missing across very finally. I'd appreciate them if you could return them to me. Yeah, well, there you go. I got one, but missing reason. Yeah, but it's not full. Doesn't have to be full. So obviously th this is an issue. Uh, the crates have become an issue. Can't turn it in. That's all right. All right, well, we're going to go over here. We're going to put some stuff in the bank. Mm -hmm. Just so we have a little more space. Greetings. Welcome to the Bank of Storm. I don't think I really have. Oh, what do I have in there? I have a cured light iron. All right, we're going to put some of this leather in there. Uh, I'm going to actually put that crate in Italy, figure out what the hell is going on with those. What is this? Oh, well, we'll probably turn that in at some point. What is this? Oh, we can sell the chunks of boar meat. Keep that. What is this? Fandle's message. Yeah, we're never going back to Onu and doing that. Uh, Wiley's note. Okay, we need that. We need that. Da, 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 da. Uh, we're going to put that in, even though we could go see a first aid, aid trainer and learn to make those bandages. Uh, we can actually put those in if we remember to pick them up once we get over to uh, there. We can actually put that in as long as we remember to pick it up. That can go in there. That's not till we go to wetlands. Yeah, this is what I mean when I say we carry too much stuff in our bags. Way too much stuff. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think I want to put all that in. All right. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So we're going to go see uh, Matthias Shaw at MI7. And we'll go over to the Dwarven District and we'll train our skills. Train our owl up. Uh, well, we can't train the owl on Growl yet. He's only 18. He's got to be 20 for that. Got to be getting pretty close to 19, though. Right? Oh, yeah. He's close. All right. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm getting the XP and a half, but the owl's probably not. So we're going to. That's going to be one of the issues uh, with this buff. Uh, oh, we forgot to see if we could get that knocked off. Uh, we'll check. We'll check. Well, we're going to hurt back anyway. No, nah, I don't know if we're going to hurt back. Yeah, we'll hurt back. Just so we can get back to Sentinel Hill faster. Mm -hmm. Only Fangs. There is a guild called Only Fangs here. It is not the original Only Fangs. Only Fangs had, uh, was one word, by the way. The original Only Fangs started by Soda Poppin and Ms. Kiff. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. The Fire's Brotherhood, continue, complete, this accept. This might be more complex than Stoutmantle realizes. The Stonemason's Guild was run by a man named Edwin Van Cleef. Van Cleef was responsible for rebuilding Stormwind after the orcs raised it in the First War. Apparently, Van Cleef and his men were unhappy with their treatment by the king after the reconstruction was complete. That just might explain a thing or two. Yeah, but I don't think it was I the king. I think it was the nobles. Account for your master in Westfall. Take this to him at once. Because if the Defias were as strong as they are now, the king wouldn't have left Stormwind to go chase orcs. He just stayed to wipe out the Defias first. I honestly think it was the nobles acting on the king's behalf that stuck it to uh, Van Cleef. Who is a stand-up guy. You know, he, he stayed with those that uh, got, got raked over the coals, even though he was offered a promotion to become a, a, one of the nobles. Or somebody of importance in the city. Anyway, he turned it down. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, pet's hungry. How unusual. Alrighty. Alright, here we are. We're going to learn our level 20 skills. We're ready for that. Ah, right, we got Aspect of the Cheetah, we got Men Pet, Dual Wheel, a new Arcane Shot, a new Distracting Shot, Disengage, which I have recently learned to like a lot. All right, here we go, Men Pet. Yeah, there we go. Dual Wheel is passive. Arcane Shot. Distracting Shot. Disengage. Oh, that's down here. Okay. Disengage goes there. Freezing trap is one of the traps I keep down here. That's it. Oh, no. What's aspect of the cheater? Why don't we get, we got to put that up over here. We need that. That makes us run fast. Oh, we got to train our pet. There we go. Pet trainer. Well, can you my pet learn here? Growl. Uh, na, 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 na. Okay, we're down to one gold. Ouch. Oh, well, we can run like a son of a bitch now. Thank God at 22 we don't really learn much. Mm hmm. Yeah, it looks like if we talk to an innkeeper, we can disable this uh, XP buff, which we really should do since we're doing this hardcore. Mm -hmm. I believe that's how you can get rid of it. Not that we've really gotten much benefit out of it, because everything we've killed has been... Uh, they say All right, there it is. And it's true. Doubly true in my case, my family's home has been burned down and taken over by thieves. I have spoken with my father about the fate of some of my possessions, including my first compass. He was unable to save them. However, he also says that they should be hidden away on the farm. You'll find the Alex. Okay, let's the see here. Of Sentinel oh, Hill. yeah, there it is. You could go and retrieve it for me. So that takes off the 50% uh, buff. Nice. Now we're not running around with that. All right. Okay. So we have null paws. We have pillages and looters. We have to go up here and get the um, quest for, uh, I know what I want, the messenger. Quest to kill the messenger. Well, somebody's doing the escort. Here we are. Thank you. Edwin Van Cleef. All right, there we go. Well, to think that a man so industrious and talented could turn into such a scoundrel unnerves me. I'll need further proof before I believe this. We need to discover the location of the Defias hideout. Adventurer, my scout reports that a Defias messenger has been seen on the roads between Moon Oh, Moon he and has, the has he? And the Jangalode mine. I want you to capture him. If he resists, kill him and bring me whatever he is carrying. Okay. So we're going to go on the Molston Farmstead first. Uh, that's where we'll pick up the... Uh, sometimes there's a crate there. Mm -hmm. See if we can get a few boar ribs or something. Cooking. There we go. There we go. More ribs and uh, liver pie is still good for cooking.
Okay, we look this way, we look that way, see if the messenger is on the road. I don't really expect him to be. He's probably being killed just about as fast as he respawns over in Moonbrook, but we'll find that out later. <laughs> All right, uh, 15 pillages, 15 looters is what we need. The pillages are pretty deadly, but uh, at our level, we should be okay. Uh, they like to cast uh, fireballs. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh, you got to put you back on defensive. All right. There we go. Whoop. Oh, hey, there's a pillager. Back up. A big advantage being able to be a little bit higher coming over here because you can take on the twos where they are, you know. And the good thing is at least now we're killing everything and getting XP for it. All these mobs here are high enough to offer us XP. Uh, there we go. Another pillager. Thank you, thank you. We'll grab this looter. Should be a looter over here, but somebody must be over here killing stuff because, uh, yeah, there's usually two or three mobs here. All right, so this is two pillages. I think the owl can handle it. Perfect. Somebody must have just come for this compass. And then they stopped. Thank you. Anyway, the compass is in here. Now that we killed those two, we can get it pretty easily. A uh, lot of people uh, here... Oh, okay, so the three are back now. There's three here. There's a looter, there's a pillager, and there's a looter. And there should be a looter popping up back over here, but I don't see him. All right, we got pretty much enough mana to handle that. And the big thing here is just, hey... Oh, look, there's the other looter. Mm -hmm. All right, we got six. And we did get our... Um, what do we got here? We got a pillow. Wait, hey, what do you got there? Right, I think we got to get a little more here. Oh, wait, we might take that guy on. Uh huh. Oh, we might wait, wait, and let him pad away, and then we can handle. There's a pillager at the end of this cart here, right here, and that'll pull that looter around the corner. Oh no, it is a looter. 
Oh, so there's two looters. All right, well, go get it then. Bring it. Whoops. But we want that one, but I don't think I want all three at once. Go in there now, pet. Go over there, pet. There we go. I'm surprised that priest didn't pull one of those off of me. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't matter. We can't seem to turn those in. Yeah, she went for the single one. Uh, she probably killed all the ones down here, unfortunately. Usually I get down here after I do all of that and I kill everything around this camp. It looks like she's done that. It's all right, though. I have a plan. Yes, I do. We're going to go up here and we're going to uh, see if any of these No, uh, yep. These uh, knolls are up, and we'll get the knoll paws. Now, down, uh, not here, but down a little further is where we're also going to go down and uh, start that Captain Sandine's treasure map. Mm -hmm. No no pause yet. What's uh, what's going on here? Well, we got a little swift thistle. <laughs> there we go. There's one. And down over there is where we start with Captain Sandine's treasure map. We'll go start that little bit now, too. All right. So we're going to get down here. Hmm. I'll go buy this boat. Well, let's see the warlock's already here. Anyway, there's a footlocker here. Right there. We just got to get to that footlocker. Uh, well, we send the pet over there to deal with that shit. Yeah, we don't want him running. Come on. One back here, there we go. There we go. I honestly don't care about looting that guy. So you loot the footlocker, you'll get the first half of a map fragment. And it tells you to go search for the for a barrel. Now I know exactly where the barrel's at, so it's not a big deal for me. Right, then that's the first half of Captain Sandine's treasure. Mm -hmm. Let's go up here and kill some more of these wonderful looking knolls for some more knoll paws. Mm -hmm. Hey.
Bring that guy back a little bit out of his camp since they like to run. <laughs> and we got two. Usually I get uh, anywhere from two to three, so we're right on track. <clears throat> <clears throat> now after this is done, well, we kill all these ones that are up here. We go back over there and see what we got up for pillages and looters. <clears throat> Hopefully we get some more of those up and we can take them down and just about get that quest done. All right, we got four. Okay, so now we go over here. Uh, I don't know if this priest has been down here to this camp. It looks like uh, there's a few up anyway. Uh, I have to see what we need here. Uh, well, we still need at least... Looks like seven looters and six pillagers. Now we need five pillagers. Which, by the way, the, the pillagers are pretty damn deadly. They are uh, number six deadliest in Azeroth and the second deadliest in Westfall mob. Mm -hmm. Of course, not when you're level 20. Level 20, they're just just another mob. <clears throat> but you come at these things at 15 and 16, and they can three-shot you. Oh, okay, we got a looter up. Three of those fireballs can uh, take you from 15 to 0. Send you back to Elwyn Forest questing. All right, uh, let's see. All right, we got to get up some mana. There should be another one right there that's going to pop. I don't know. Should be another one getting ready to pop over there. All right. mm -hmm. I kind of thought we were going to have a guy come over here today and take a look at my backyard. I've got a retaining wall I need to get rebuilt. Or actually probably be better off just building one from scratch. I was kind of hoping he was going to come by and give me a price. I haven't heard from them. All right, we still need... Oh, man. Somebody's up here killing them. Oh, boy. Oh, you got a mage. I can see where she sheeped one. I really don't want to break that sheep if that mage is going to come kill it. But on the same hand, I don't want it popping up and killing me either. Hey, those are both looters. I'm happy with that. We need looters more right now than we need pillages. Uh-huh. See, the mage didn't come for that one. All right, I'll take care of it for you, mage. I think I got all my pillages. I do. That's it. That's all the pillages we need. But we still need four looters. And there's one. All right, we need three looters. I do not need any more pillagers. Let's see what we got up over here. I think it's a pillager. It is. And although I don't need it, I'm going to kill it. Just because it's in my way. Oh, look, we got a pillager and a looter. All right. And we don't know what's going to come out of there. Something else is going to come out of that barn at some point. But the big thing is that there is a uh, looter here. Mm -hmm. Two more looters we need. I don't 
no, I think this one's dead that was patting around here. I think the mage killed the little pat that was here. I honestly think we've handled everything quite well. There's probably nothing left up here. Nope, you might want to look into going down a moon brook. All right, we're going to go over here. The knolls should be back up, hopefully. Uh, we're going to get them, get the rest of our knoll paws. Then we may get down to Moonbrook and check and see if the messenger's down there. Mm -hmm. That's a place to start looking for them anyway. <laughs> that guy there is a pat. Need some old paws here. Not very good knolls if they don't have paws. Well, that's a good little axe to pick up for money. Seven silver. Certainly can't complain about that. There we go. Well, at least we got one. Yeah, you can see this is where we left, so they're not all back up over here because this is kind of where we went off and started doing Captain Sandine's treasure map. But they're coming back now. You can see they're just starting now to come back. And this is usually what I do to get my knoll paws and my looters and my pillages. I just make this little circle and I go over there and usually if nobody's over there, you know, you, you get the camp to yourself and Oh, but now I can see someone else is around. Hmm. Of course, we only got one, one paw this time. That's really not very good. Maybe this guy will give us one. Then we'll at least feel like we got two. There we go. All right, so we got six. We need two more. Uh, I am not going into a camp of five. I know that's like, all right, well, just go in there. Okay, that's a pillager. We don't need pillagers. We need looters. Pillager. Oh, there's a chest in here, though. All right, I guess we're going to have to kill this one, then. Oh, good. There's a looter right up there. One more loot is all we need, and I see one up there. Mm -hmm. Of course, we still need two more. No pause. Let's see if there's anything in the chest we want. Probably not. <sighs> milk, milk. Uh, that does us no good. My inventory's full. You know, that's fine. Let's go get our last looter. And we'll start making our way over to Moonbrook. There is a couple more uh, 
straggler knolls we can go check out around here up over here because those ones will not have responded yet Well, there's a warlock over here killing gnolls. God dang it, everywhere I go. All right, well, there's a camp of gnolls over here. Maybe we'll get lucky. There's some more over here, but I don't really want to pull a camp. I mean, there's four or five of them in these camps, and this one here we'll get alone. But, I, oh, well, wait a minute, we got two. All right, two is fine. We can handle two. Oh, we can. You put that one on there. There we go. <laughs> All right, we need one more. Well, there's a little camp up over here at three. That we should be able to handle if the warlock hasn't been here. Maybe we'll get lucky, get our last paw there, and then all we got left to really kill is the messenger. And we'll go to Moonbrook and see if he's up. There we go. I honestly don't care if we pull all three here, we're fine. No, no, and no. And no, but the inscribed cloak will be worth some money. All right, well, there wasn't one there. Mm -hmm. There's a couple camps on the way back if we find the messenger. There's still other places to go looking, so we just need one now. All right, so we're going to go look for the messenger. We'll go out to the road here, and then we'll walk down to Moonbrook. Uh, see if uh, we see the messenger's corpse. Give it a minute. If uh, we don't, you know, then we may have to come up the road here and go looking for him. Make sure he's not on the road where I can see him at the moment. Nope, nope, okay. So he comes out of Moonbrook, he goes to uh, the quarry mine, and then he goes to, um, is it the Jengalode over here? The Jengalode mine, and then he comes back. Mm -hmm. And there are looters and there are pillagers down here. You can see here, here's a looter. That's why I wasn't too worried about getting them all. The only time these become a real pain is when you're going to do the escort quest. Which at some, some point in time we'll probably have to do. Yeah, feel the power of the brotherhood. There you go. Feel the power of owl. All right, uh, so the messenger. 
I do not see him. I do not see his corpse. He spawns right there, right there at the blacksmith. And he's not there. I don't see a corpse room there. Uh, it doesn't look like anybody's been down here, because I judge him by the number of pillages and looters. I don't know who said they need pillages, but there's plenty of pillages down here in Moonbrook. <laughs> so we got to go look for the messenger. All right. 25 rogue. Maybe going to do dead mines? I don't know. Okay. First of all, we don't need that owl. Uh, let's put on the aspect of the cheetah. We can move a little faster this way. Hopefully we'll find him up. I hope we'll find him up. I don't know. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also go here. Right here, uh, this is the barrel for uh, Captain Sandine's treasure map. This is the second uh, part of it. Uh, rid of that cheese. There we go. Complete quest and accept. There he is. There's the messenger. God damn it. I got to get him before he takes off because he likes to, uh, right about there, he usually stops for a minute and then he takes off. All right, uh, we got him. Okay, we got a mysterious message. That's it. I think that's all. Oh, no, we still got to get a knoll paw. Oh, bitch. All right, well, the knolls are over here. Pull this up. We'll run over here. Hopefully get our last knoll paw pretty quickly. Uh, hopefully these guys will be up. Now, yeah. it's back to Sentinel Hill. Turn all these in except for the compass, which doesn't, which turns in a storm wind. Uh, then we get the one to go up in the Dagger Hills. There we go. All right, let's get that last knoll paw. There we go. Perfect. Back to Sentinel Hill. And we're not really going to be killing a lot on the way back, so... We'll put up Aspect of the Cheetah or something hits us. We'll just take it off. But right now, we just need to get back there. Uh, we'll get a quest now to kill Pathfinders, Knuckle Dusters, Highwaymen. That will be the next in the line of uh, these uh, trappers and what we just killed, pillagers and looters and smugglers. Now we got the higher guys. Too bad these won't make us 21, but they won't. <laughs> oh, and we'll get the quest to escort the trader. Which I think someone is doing because they do not see the trader here. There we go. 
Your worth to the people's militia has been validated. Okay, that's to kill those, the Defias Brotherhood. There we go. So there's a trader that comes back here that you escort all the way down through Moonbrook, and when you get that done, then they are hiding out in the Dagger Hills, plotting their next move. You get the uh of the people's militia. This is indeed firm proof that Van Cleef is in charge. Now all we need to know is where the Defias gang is hiding out. We've had a stroke of luck while you were gone. We captured a thief trying to steal... Yeah, all right, you sent me out to kill everybody, and now you got a stroke of luck. The hell did I kill the messenger for? ...and the traitor so he can reveal the hideout. Return to me once you have uncovered the location. Well done, adventurer. With valiant adventurers such as yourself fighting alongside the people's militia, Westfall just might return to the prosperous breadbasket it once was. Please accept what were those for armor? Oh, yeah. tireless efforts. Very good. Uh, I think we can start getting rid of this linen cloth. We're just going to wait and get up all that. Uh, boar meat's not going to help us. That's not going to help. That's good for cooking. That's good for cooking. That's good for leather working. There we go. Uh, arrows. All right, there we go. We got all our arrows. Now, these are... These clues, I don't think I need to hold on to them, but I don't know. These clues to Captain Sandine's treasure map. I don't think I have to hold on to them, but might. All right, well, I think that's going to complete the journey for today. Uh, we made it to level 20. Uh, tomorrow we should get 21, maybe 22. And then, so we're going to be a little bit off uh, going into uh, phase two. We'll have to do a little bit of catch up, but that's fine. Um, and we could have done a little bit more today, but we did decide to turn off the buff. Uh, this is hardcore. Um, you know, I don't want to run the whole time with the buff. So, anyway, uh, folks, uh, for those of you who view this, thank you very much for the view. I greatly appreciate it. Remember, this hunter journey is only going to be broadcast on YouTube, so keep checking back for updates. This will be part nine. Uh, and hopefully tomorrow we'll get part 10 done. Just a reminder that tonight I will be leveling my priest on uh, Twitch at Pop Spire and Grill on Twitch. And uh, I will start probably about 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. We'll be most definitely hoping to get into a DM run. And uh, we will see you there, I hope. Anyway, y'all have an awesome day and stay safe.